<laughs> Ryan, what are we doing today? HIDs. HIDs? Ryan said that there'd be a light. I can't see shit. <laughs> before and after would be good. Yeah, before. Are we doing anything with the yellow and with the side bulbs? The corner markers right over here? No. Oh, no? Okay. I could, I could eventually in life, but not today. We should swap them out with LEDs, it'll match up better. In 93, HIDs didn't even exist. Cool. Yeah, buddy. So what do we gotta do to take these out anyway? Taking the original ones out is simple. Yeah. Do you have to drop the bumper for it? No. Wow. Like I said, this is a 93. Yeah, I really wish I didn't have to drop the bumper every it's not time. A, it's not a new car where you gotta take the rear bumper off to take the headlight out. <laughs> right. And there's the bulb there. Okay, so here we got the back of the bulb, yeah. And then there's the bulb there. This one used to be harder, but I took the intake out, so it's got a lot of room now. All right, so what do you got to do? Well, on this side, to make my life easier, I'm taking the battery out so I have more room. That's fair. And yeah. I can't get in there with my... You have so much more room on one side of the car than you do on the other. Yeah. <laughs> and it's because it... Ooh, hey, hey, hey. Please don't electrocute yourself. I'm going to have to change all my presets and shit. Lots more room! 22 years of dirt. Alright, oh yeah, we could definitely put that ballast right there. How much more room there is. Cool. We use a battery anyway. We just train our alternator to do extra work. <laughs> the alternator will keep the car running. You yeah. just need a battery to start the car. Yeah, exactly. Your car is so easy to work on! Fuck. Yeah, look, the bulb's out. <laughs> What the hell, man? You know, in order for me to get to mine, I'm gonna, because I'm gonna show everyone. In order to get to mine, I actually have to go through the wheel well, like, every single time. I have to lift the car. <laughs> is this everything that we're installing? Yep. What is all this crap? Uh, this so is the ballast. Here. This is what gives the bulb power. It regulates the power. We got new connections. These have to be installed too? Yeah, everything has to be installed. What are these? That's more connections. More connections have to be installed? Mm hmm All right, connections. Lots and lots of connections. Lots and lots of connections. In Greece, you're cleaning up some uh, 20 years of corrosion. It's nasty. Dirt and grime. So you got to mount these? Yeah, that looks like a good spot, actually. Yeah, it looks like a good spot. Does it have to be mounted or can it just sit there and ride around with you? Uh, we have to strap it down somehow. It comes with double-sided sticky tape. Boom, sticky tape. Boom, sticky tape. That's already. There we go. That's better. Comes with a nice, sweet manual. A great, sweet manual time. Okay. So this is the old halogen bulb, right? Yeah. And then this is the new HID high intensity discharge bulb. Yeah. Is that what that means? Yes, that's what that means. Nice. <laughs> All right. We gotta take the sweet case off. Sweet casing. All right. You wanna make sure not to touch the bulb because it'll burn out really, really, really fast with oils on it. Okay. So these screws that you took out the core that have to go back in. Yeah. And now that is what the official bulb looks like. So that's the official HID bulb. Yeah. All right. It's got that one. Wow, it's so interesting. Cool. Yeah. Nope. Right like that. She is in. Really? Yeah. You don't need that casing and everything. Nope. Let me put this back around it. All right. Well then. Boom. Boom. And that goes into here. Boom. Plugs. Yeah. They're pretty simple. Only one goes to one. We can't fuck it up. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna battle. What is this? That looks like positive connection. That looks like negative connection. 
How can you tell? Uh, that one's black. And yeah, this one's red. And it has the fuse. And the fuse is always on the positive. Okay. If each individual ballast has its own ground wire, you just sense. plug it into the ballast. Capacitors plug into the ballast. Definitely can find some of these on DeLoreans. Ah, flux capacitor. Yeah, buddy. This thing's gonna run off beer when we're done with it. One of these plugs into the stock plug. There's that. And then right now we're just taking this cord, got it threaded through here. Threaded through there. So now we can do the same exact thing on the other side. Yeah. hooked up so now we got the positive right here this is going to connect straight to the battery yeah and because we don't have the ground connected to the battery the lights will not stay on all the time where can i put this i could just tuck it maybe zip tie it comes with zip ties I'll use a zip tie yeah zip tie that's a good idea plug the battery in got it Positive. Oh, so that's connecting directly to that? I didn't even know you could do that. Yep. I probably should know that. <laughs> right, let's see if that works now. Well, that one does, for sure. One? Just one, that one works for sure, though. <laughs> the other one's not working. Oh, uh, dude, that looks, that looks fucking so much brighter. Oh my god, you can see the stock halogen right next to it, and then this thing going off. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna find a new ground. Yes. Ready? Go ahead. Yeah. Test number two. That's number two. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh yeah! Woo. That works. Look at that. Yeah man. And you can see that they're just getting a little bit brighter. Yeah, yep. they, they warm up. Yeah. Each of these. Oh. Look yes. how much brighter that is. I can't even look at it. Yeah, so now all we gotta do is just what, tuck these wires? Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Mills Garage. If you like these videos, don't forget to click below. And we have a bunch more content coming up, so click the subscribe and we'll see you next week.